Good evening. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, welcome to this Market Outlook video. Uh, today is Sunday, 7.45 p.m. 16th January. Let us discuss and spend some time on what we can expect in the markets on Monday, 17th of January, 2022. Um, first of all, I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you were rejuvenated and you become fresh after this weekend. Secondly, apologies for not being extremely active on YouTube. Uh, it's just that my most of my members in the family have got COVID. So we're busy with that. And you know that's why the activity on my media platform has come down. But we're doing fine and things are good. God is kind. So um, just some updates about me that I wanted to share before we go forward with the market outlook. Um, just some pieces of advice. And I think uh, if you noticed something, uh, that uh, from Friday or relatively this week, you can see that I've been shifting towards picking stocks for whether it's trading, whether it's investment. And that is one advice I want to give you today on, on the channel is that, you know, the markets have given quite a beautiful move in the last, I would say, 15 days, 20 days or in the last, since December 20th, basically, which became the bottom of the markets and the markets in the last 25 days have been have been great. Nifty from 16,400 is currently around 18,300 levels with just 300 points off the all-time highs. Bank Nifty is still not, you know, come near the all-time highs, but a good 4,500 point rally isn't, uh, isn't bad, right? Isn't bad. And uh, I always follow this rule that whenever the markets expand, they need to compress. You must, you always on the Telegram channel, you've seen my Bollinger Band squeeze that I keep on sending you all, which basically means you need compressions coming in before you get another wild move in the market. So I just want to discuss about that. And the thing that I want to ask you all to do is that keep on doing your index trading, right? You know, um, if you were being aggressively trading on the index, you continue. But I would say be strict on stop losses for this week. Um, reduce your uh, aggressive stance on the index this week. And what we've been doing together, you know, picking out stocks, India Cements, Paytm and uh, Prestige Estates, I hope they will perform in this week as well. But I think it's time for all of us to again look at a stock specific approach. And I will throw some light on this even later uh, on Telegram and in the course of this week. But just try to identify some good weekly charts, good weekly consolidations and try to be sector specific. Find out what sectors are the ones that can perform especially ahead of the budget. Now we're coming into the budget season uh, and a lot of companies are, you know, they perform before the budget or during the budget. So I would, I would want you all to do some back testing and I will help you. As I said, I'm focusing on the capital goods space. I'm focusing on the engineering space, cement space, uh, real estate space, and I will be identifying more names. And I hope that we can benefit as we have done in the last three uh, stocks that we've done on Monday. But I hope you have, you've made some good money on the stocks that we have created on Monday. Let me know in the comments. Coming to Nifty, Nifty Bank, uh, you know, we've seen that something beautiful happened on Nifty Bank. And uh, I was quite aggressive when I was talking about this stance that market has a very strong support at 38,050. And that only happened. And I kept on saying on the week, uh, the Friday markets also that please do not have any shots in the system. And markets came down around to 38,000, gave a very good takeout. All the beers got trapped and the markets again closed at the highs of the day and filled this gap that was that was unfilled and then it again fell down uh, because the FIIs have again become active on the selling front. What do you plan? How do you plan the markets going forward? First of all, you have to understand that consecutively the markets are getting buying from the levels of 38,100 to 38,000. This is becoming a very, very strong support that you can see in the market. Sometimes market bounces on 38,050, sometimes 38,000. So this 50, 60 point range has become a very good cushion for the market when it goes down. Secondly, if you're observing the charts as I am right now on Bank Nifty, you can see that the selling that happened in the market, you know, it happened from 38,600, which was a very, very strong support earlier when the market was in a good uh, bullish stance. And it hadn't bent a little bit, but once the markets broke 38,600, you got a lower high. Again, market tried to go higher, you got a lower high, and then the markets haven't been able to break this. So, what I'm trying to say is that this area becomes a very, very important resistance going forward. So, this 38,550 all the way till 38,600, this 50 point range has become a very good resistance. Currently, the markets are in the middle. You can see clearly 
buying coming in from the lower levels anyone who's gone long in this market has a stop loss over here anyone who's gone short in this market must have had a sl over here trailed here trailed here and now he must be trailing in this range so unless until any of these stop losses gets triggered you cannot expect some big movement to happen in this market so the idea that i am trying to convey is tomorrow to yesterday was the hdfc bank results and the hdfc bank results were good and i can tell you one thing from experience whatever little experience i have in this market is that hdfc bank icici access sbi they never post bad results they're always going to be exceeding the expectations that people have so markets already know what to expect and i've always observed that when the good results are posted the market comes down when the bad results are posted the market goes up after that the best example is dmart good results market plunged uh, it's uh, mindtree good results market's plunged so i think we will first have to observe how the hdfc bank uh, opens tomorrow and how does it perform because already it's gone up about roughly 150 points in the last uh, one month 25 days since we bought hdfc bank and it's a good rally after results so you know you can say the discounting of results has been done in a in a way but let's see how it opens because you all know that one point on hdfc bank is about 20 point on bank nifty and it will be obviously in focus so keep a keep a track on all the results all the companies that are posting results and i'll make it a point that every day i'll give you a list of what companies are posting results because all these nifty heavyweights they post results in the first 2 3 weeks and the market become extremely volatile because of them so the advice again i'm impressing upon is please continue some stock specific action it's the result season some sectors will do extremely well others will lag so because of that nifty can stay volatile but if you are focused on the right sector focused on the right stock you can actually make an alpha in this month so that's the advice i have for all of you guys on the charts i have a very simple understanding if the markets are opening flattish i will not be very active uh, in 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 the markets why because I, as i said i'm stuck in a range if i want to be an aggressive buyer once again in this market i i want the markets to come here consolidate over here and then on tuesday or after 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock again break out if this happens i will be happy to go long i will be happy to go long but if you say devan can i go long tomorrow morning if these highs break if the market opens flat there's no problem there's no problem but i will not be aggressively going long i will start aggressively going long when the market goes up consolidates here and then breaks up because consolidation these compressions are something that i have been following for a long time the india cement trade was based on this phenomenon a lot of trades like prestige was based on this phenomenon the 30th december when we went long on bank nifty when we have taken btst calls of bank nifty that was based on the compression phenomenon so i believe it this is some concept that's been helping me out for a long period of time so this compression is required for me to become aggressively bullish but anyone let us say the markets are opening flat they start to break these highs you can always go long go small quantity i'll be trading small quantity unless until that tra trade range breaks if the market opens only gap up because of hdfc bank then i will say observe the market because you will have to see the first 15 minute at least to understand how hdfc bank wants to react so if hdfc bank opens gap up is it going to continue the trajectory or will it see some gap filling some profit booking because up because of that the markets will uh, become volatile so my idea is that if the markets are opening flat i uh, sorry if the markets are opening gap up let the markets do some consolidation so i believe for us to become concluding to for us to become aggressively bullish again you have to let that upper range break but with a consolidation if the market is opening gap down or if the market is opening flat so gap down market again i'm not very interested in because same thing on the upside i want a compression around 38000 levels so that once this level breaks i can go easily for my 300 point a shot in this market for this gap filling aim at least but for that to happen again i need a compression but we do not know how the markets will open tomorrow they might open massive gap up massive gap down so i think Uh, this result specific speculation on how things react we will have to see in the live market if it's a very big gap gap down but in in my opinion if the markets are opening you know gap down also there has been some buying coming in so you will see some volatility but again then we will start to become aggressive only on tuesday or wednesday depending how the markets react where it compresses and where it breaks so that's the uh, the zone that have given for nifty for bank nifty 38050 uh, all the way till 38000 550 to 600 it's a good range let the market spend some time in this range and then let the markets uh, break out
the other advice is you know whenever the market sees some selling let it become volatile first then let it do some compression then let it reverse the trend so i have been following all these things and they are very kind and i would like you all to you know keep following them if i talk about the charts of nifty i'll just spend some few minutes on nifty nifty has been very strong i think you have been able to see it quite clearly nifty bank the daily chart did bend a little bit but the closings have always been massively good but nifty has has just been outperforming you haven't seen a red candle in a long long time you did get one red candle over here but again this was just a a sham in a way and it it fooled everyone and nifty again has done quite astonishingly well and you are around the 18 300 resistance levels which were earlier a very strong resistance from where the pullback sell off came in so markets one good thing in nifty is the markets have been spending some time in this range so it's been pulling off it's been contracting it's been compressing that's a good thing for for the momentum to come in so the advice on nifty is quite simple first of all it's gone up quite a lot that's the reason i'm again and again saying if you want to go long on nifty you might as well choose stocks which will help nifty go higher so in a way you gain more so try to adopt an aggressive stock specific stance rather than an aggressive index stance 15 minute chart on the index the benchmark again markets try to close at the highs give you they give you a very very good high uh, and every single day i've been talking about this how the markets have been giving you higher highs and higher lows every single time the markets uh, nifty for example they it did try to come down and give you a lower low but you could not sustain there even for a little bit and the markets have seen aggressive buying happening from 18000 130 and 140 zone so i believe in the coming days if the market wants to fall down let the market come down here let the market you know do some compression here and then when it goes down below this 18000 130 zone i will go short for this entire gap filling trade and the targets can be 18050 to 8020 so that can become target but still overall remember even if you go short there are massive supports coming in at 18000 levels so 18000 over here is a massive massive support so let the market if you want to you know become positionally short let the market at least close below 18000 that can show some kind of you know weakness little bit of weakness but otherwise gap filling and all is just normal things in a bull market remember bull market corrections are always fast and furious so even if it comes down you should know when to stop and when to again go with the flow and when to again change the side and go again with the trend so all these things have to be kept in mind when you're trading so overall in nifty 18280 if, if i can see that level correctly 272 to 280 that is the uh, i think this is the highs that have been made a uh, 264 which is high is 272 and yahan pe the high is 269 so basically this 270 is a very strong resistance right now and it's been tested already three times ek yahan pe test ho gaya second over here here also and here also so this level automatically becomes weak if the market is opening you know in this range in this 40 50 point range or or i i will say if the market is opening yes above above 235 or 240 if it is opening between 270 till 230 245 then or oh, and then the market is going above this 270 zone you can go long you know the you know the fixed stop losses go long because the levels been already tested too many times so but this is if the markets are opening flat if the market is opening gap down over here then i will not be interested to go long then i will not because then the market will try to make a range this is support this is resistance so then try to play in that range if the market is opening gap down i will say if you want to be aggressive let the market compress here first then tuesday decide the stance or if the market wants to go higher let the market come here first spend some time and then tuesday will decide the stance so that is on the gap down side if the market let us say opens gap down here somewhere because of hdfc maybe this becomes a very good support because already then sara gap filling ho jayega so that we will have to see in live market ki khulta kahan pe hai but uh, hopefully it's not going to be a very bad opening because results have been uh, spectacular for hdfc bank so hopefully the momentum will continue and i hope uh, nothing uh, uh, scrawny takes place by the insiders by the promoters uh, and they start to book profits uh, while trapping the markets after good results so we will see all that in the live market but tomorrow if the market opens a big gap up we will again not be very active on the index because i have again and again told you that our stance is to buy a dip not buy the highs because buying the high will not be worth it because already we've gone up too much so try to avoid buying the highs that's my advice for the january 17th market monday hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments guys cheers thank you so much